Hello everyone, so I'm showing you how you can improve your development process using Azure DevOps during Microsoft Teams. So to begin with, let's assume we have a team channel where we send notifications about new tickets as well as status changes. Let's begin. So let's create an issue. Improve our docs. Gonna send to me and let's move it into do. Very easy. Let me create automation for this. So the first time automation I will do is uh, it's pretty simple one. When there is a commit, we want to move the issue to in progress. Turn on. And now let's go back to an issue. So this is our issue. It's called Dev 12. Now we can hold to Azure DevOps and uh, go to our well, we can basically do it from here. We can come to Azure DevOps, to the ticket, create a branch. So here we'll pick our Azure DevOps project, repository main branch, as well as Dev 12 doc improvements. We will name our branch and create it. To the next step, of course, we will come to our branch and improve our documentation as we planned. Uh, we will, of course, in commit, use our issue key. Cool. And from this commit, uh, now we, will, we should be able to see what's happening. Of course, when we created an issue, we received my custom notification that the issue was created uh, with the task 12, dev 12. And now we should see the transition to in progress because we created a commit in a, in a branch. Okay, just after a few seconds, we can see that there is a, a branch created and issue was transitioned but by automation uh, to in progress. And as well, we can see that there is a, there are two commits. So let's, let's move on. Let's say we want to create a pull request, but for this, when the issue is in pull request, we want issue to transition to code review. So let's add this automation rule. Uh, I mean, there is a template for this, so we don't need to do it from, from zero. Here we can hold to create the branch, move to in progress, pull, pull request. Here we can start with this one, create a pull request, but here we can say pull request created. So we issue and move issue to and start. Uh, does not equal to code review. Then we move issue to code review. So it looks like this. When a pull request is created and, and status does not equal to code review, so which means issue is not a code review at the moment, we move issue to the code review. Let's turn on this automation. And we can hold back to the project. And now is the time we expect whenever we create a pull request, issue will be transitioned. And the pull request, of course, will be visible here. So let's do it. So we got a pull request in 12, 12 doc improvements. Let's assign some reviewers and create it. And as usually, we, of course, we can improve it as well. And after a few seconds, uh, it will be it must be transitioned and of course as you see in our Microsoft Teams channel the issue was transitioned to code review which is pretty nice so you don't need to stay on top of Jira you can just see in Microsoft Teams what happened and of course it was moved on the port and in development panel you see our pull requests and it's open and we have already an approval now it's time to merge a pull request and when pull request is merged we want issue to transition to done. And when, when the deployment is done, we want issue to transition to launch. So let's create those two rules. So we have pull request merged and an issue currently is in code review. We want to transition issue 
issue transition. Uh, no, we don't want to copy, we want to transition issue to done. So, which means pull request is merged. One issue was in the code review, so we transition into that. And we can turn on the role. <laughs> when an issue. So, code review is merged. Transition to done. Let's turn on. And return to rules, and we have three rules at the moment. We also can create a rule when issue is deployed. Uh, then we can, we can transition issue to launched. So in our case, we can transition to launch. So when issue isn't done and the deployment has happened to production, so the issue is transitioned to launched. Let's turn on this flow as well. So currently we have four rules, and now we can merge pull request and trigger all the uh, builds and everything. Of course, it will take some time to build to finish, but at the end, we should be able to see all the things happening. So let's come back in a few seconds when the builds are done and I will show you what Jira Automation has done to an issue. So as you've seen my personal teams already, just a second ago, when a pull request was merged, and we can see that if the issue was moved by Jira Automation from code review to done, which is pretty cool. And on the board, you see it's here. As you see, it's currently it's in done. We have merged, and now our builds kicked in, and we should see issue them appear here as well, in a second, as well as uh, uh, see the deployments. So while builds arrive, we can see that the builds are incomplete. So there is one build kicked in and, and deployments will follow shortly. Here's our current process with builds. One build has failed, another build has uh, started because we have multiple things running as well as deployment act kicked in. So you can see what's going on with, with this particular task and issue. Of course, you can hold to your deployments and see all deployments in, in your Jira board as well, as you see, it's pretty nice progress. So while deployments are running, because we have multiple builds configured as well as multiple deployments. So let me uh, come back in a second when production deployments are done. And after some time when deployments are done, we can see that issue was transitioned to launch. So with Microsoft Teams integration plus uh, Azure DevOps for Jira, you can drastically increase your and your team's performance and visibility in the development process. So please give it a try both applications and comment if you have any questions or you want to see other demos. Thank you.